We assume that the festival of Hanukkah began right away after the miracle of retaking the Beis Hamikdash. It was not the case. Lashana Acheres, a different year. It doesn't even tell us which year. But after the battle had been won and everybody was able to take stock of the miraculous victory Hashem had provided, then and only then was Hanukkah made a permanent holiday. The other key note is in the manner of celebration of Hanukkah. Chazal in their wisdom set up Hanukkah as a time of Hallel V'hoda'ah. Praise and thanks. How can we demonstrate our appreciation for all of the bracha that Hashem has given us? And how can we make sure that we have internalized the lessons of Hanukkah and inculcate them in our children and future generations? It's through Halal V'hoda'ah, saying thank you. One of the themes that I return to constantly with our students and at public presentations is our name is Yehudim. We are called Yehudim because we are the thank you people. And we need to thank you, the grandparents and great-grandparents and parents and special friends, not only for coming out today to celebrate with us and support the yeshiva, but more importantly, for having the vision of Lashana Acheres for the literally decades a painstaking investment and forward planning and dedication to making sure that you pass down our precious Masora to your children. And the real pleasure is not just when we see our very youngest students perform, but in seeing all of our efforts come to fruition as they grow on as the torchbearers of the Masora. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for your decades of vision, Lashana Acheres. And I want to give one other thank you before I turn over the mic to our parent presentation by Mrs. Corinne Cohn. And that is that I want to give a special thank you to Moral Lisa Bond. She is going to give the rest of the thank yous later, but will not thank herself. And just we want to very briefly thank her for the months of vision.
magic. And on behalf of the parent body, I'd like to present this is Kareem Khan. Um, I want to welcome everyone, and I most definitely want to say, you guys were unbelievable. We are all so proud of you, and I want to wish everyone, because today is my last chance to do it, a very happy Hanukkah. May the light and love and miracles of Hanukkah spread into the rest of the year for all our lives. My, my children have been at the JC for the past five years, since we got here from South Africa. Yes, if you've been driving yourself nuts trying to place my accent, I can put you out of your frustration with South Africa. <laughs> As Jewish people with a strong identity and commitment to the traditions and customs of Jewish Orthodox life, I think it goes without saying that the greatest gift parents and grandparents can give our children is a Jewish education. We all know Go ahead. <laughs> okay, we all know paying tuition is no small investment for any family. Yet, the reality is that tuition doesn't cover educating one child. And of course, not every family can pay to educate one child, or in most cases, all their children. In response to these challenges, the JEC is committed to ensuring that all families seeking a high quality Jewish and general studies education, regardless of finances, are given that opportunity. The JEC's early childhood division is the incubator for Jewish and general studies education imbuing young children with a love for Torah and mitzvot, while simultaneously fostering personal growth and cognitive development in a warm, loving, and nurturing environment. Due in part to the exponential growth of the Elizabeth, Hillside, Springfield, and Linden communities, the early childhood is expecting to grow within the next five years and the, enrol and the enrollment will increase hugely. <laughs> we ask you to help us sustain and enhance the resources available to our growing body of students. Among several, one standout need is the creation of an indoor playground. in lieu of our outdoor facilities during inclement or cold weather. We know how vital it is for our children of all ages to run around and develop their gross and fine motor skills. This is always more difficult during winter months. An indoor playground would be an invaluable investment for all our kids. This is a particularly great time to give as JC finishes its challenge grant at the end of this month. Your gift will be matched by three different families, dollar for dollar. So if you give a hundred dollars, it's not Please give and give generously. Make a miracle happen so that all your children and grandchildren can, like mine, jump into the car at the end of every school day 
raving about the wonderful day they had, how much they learned, how special their teachers are, and the fun they had. Thank you. I'm going to keep this short, Corey. Thank you so very much for speaking. <laughs> Alright, guys, early childhood, you're all uh, awesome. You're just awesome. You're beautiful. You're saying beautifully. Thank you. You did a great job. Alright, first, I have, I'm in charge of all the thank yous, so I'm going to make it quick. First, I'd like to thank Rabbi Elia Boots Heights. office staff for helping, um, Adina Abramoff and Andy Schultz, the business office staff, and I have to thank, if you look on the far wall at the, at the Fanukio and the pictures on the back wall, that was, that was a, a vision of Sefi Schumann, and by Sheva Kent, thank you for putting it all together. Uh, Uri Abramoff, our audio video producer, thank you. Our photographers, Dr. Harris Salzberg, Ariel Ness, and Sarah Rivka Pinter. The pictures that Ariel is taking will be on the, on the JC Facebook account, so take a look later. Um, and it goes without saying, I have to thank our early childhood teachers. I can't do it without you. You are amazing, awesome teachers. We are very lucky to have you. Hannah Salomon, our music director. She makes every event possible. Thank you. One Stop Kosher for the catering. Uh, and uh, to uh, Avenue Flowers for the balloons that you see. And to all our volunteers who took the, out, took the time out of their day to come and help with this wonderful event. Thank you also. Thank you also to our donors for sponsoring this event. You'll see your name over there. And also to our sixth grade girls who came in after a Lakewood trip yesterday. They help us at every single event and they help set all the tables up.